Hello dear students, this is Dr. Dimen Jani and today we are going to discuss the most important topic and very frequently asked in university examinations that is the functions of money. This is in the continuation of the macroeconomics as why become M3 uh, subject uh, chapter number one that is nature and functions of money and its significance in the modern economy. So let us start with the first point that is the functions of money. So in functions of money there are mainly three functions of money three types of functions of money first is the primary function second is the secondary function and third is the contingent function so we are going to discuss one by one with practical next point is primary functions primary functions includes two functions that is the medium of exchange and the measurement of the value first point that is medium of exchange indicates that money act as a medium of exchange by performing this function and money has removed probably all the major difficulties that we used to have in barter system so any type of transaction a buyer and seller want to carry out it can easily carry out with the help of money simply you want to buy a mobile phone of 30,000 rupees you just pay 30,000 rupees and you will have your mobile phone in your hand so that 30,000 rupees money acted as a medium of exchange so in while buying any goods or services or selling any goods or services, all the transactions, uh, in order to conduct all the transactions, money plays very important role. Okay. Second point is measurement of the value or you can say measure of the value. As you know that all the transactions which are being carried out in the economy are expressed in terms of monetary value. So transactions which are carried out for buying or any buying or selling uh, of any goods or services, they are actually their prices are actually expressed in terms of money. Let's say, for example, if I want to purchase one LCD television of uh, um, one lakh rupee or one lakh fifty thousand rupees, four K, maybe eight K Ultra HD television, I want to purchase. So that the price of eight K Ultra HD television is expressed in terms of money that is 1.5 lakh or maybe 2 lakh rupees okay so all the goods and services uh, all the transactions which are carried out in goods and services there are monetary values their values are expressed in terms of money itself moving on the next point that is the secondary function in secondary function first point includes standard of deferred payment deferred payment means future payment is uh, uh, the best example that i can give to you is suppose you are purchasing a loan from bank of rupees maybe five lakh rupees okay so uh, you have to pay the future installments of maybe four thousand maybe five thousand depending upon your tenure how much time you have selected for your payment schedules okay but we are assuming that five thousand rupees you are going to pay in future for upcoming five years okay so that five years would as uh, five thousand rupees would be expression of the repayment of the loan so that indicates that future transactions are also expressed in terms of money if i'm buying something today i have to repay it in upcoming future those transactions are also carried out in terms of money. okay so future transactions are carried out in terms of money even itself next point is the store of value so as you know that money also act as a preservation of the value money uh, if i have ten thousand rupees with me that indicates that i have purchasing power i have storage of purchasing power of ten thousand rupees with me so with that ten thousand rupees i can go to market i can go to anywhere and i can purchase goods and services worth of ten thousand rupees okay next point is the transfer of value transfer of value indicates that any person who is holding the money the power of money would be with uh, resides with him suppose i have 5000 rupees with me and i pay 5000 rupees to my brother or my sister or my wife so now that 5000 rupees the power of that 5000 rupees will reside to the person who, I'm, who i have provided that amount of money or in simple sense i can say that if i purchase a goods or any services of 5000 rupees and if i pay that 5000 rupees to someone so that monetary value so monetary power will transfer from my side to the seller side moving on the next point that is the contingent function contingent function includes measurement and dis uh, distribution of the national income it is actually very difficult and almost impossible to even imagine a world without money itself the prime reason is that uh, the growth uh, even economics is cannot be 
uh, explain or cannot be understood without the concepts of money itself because majority of the concept of economics like national income uh, gdp gnp per capita income all these kind of informations or all these concepts are expressed in terms of money suppose i want to make a comparison between the two countries say for example india and us india and china india and pakistan any country okay so that comparison is done on the basis of many aspects particularly if i want to go for economic growth then i have to go for national income i have to go for national um, per capita income per head income um, gdp gnp all these are the concepts but the all these concepts are expressed in terms of money itself so without money even we cannot measure our country's national income we cannot identify how this national income is distributed among the citizens of the country itself so money is very important as far as this contingent con function is concerned next is money equalizes marginal utilities now the thing is that both buyer and seller used to make transaction in order to get maximum satisfaction okay so when buyer will get maximum satisfaction when his expectations are match or you can say when his expectations are beyond his imagination is match or outperform say for example if i'm expecting a product having cost of 500 rupees but i got the same product at 400 rupees then my expectations are satisfied that means i am happy buyer is happy and in similar way if seller used to believe that i have earned the maximum profit on selling of that particular goods on 400 rupees that means he is also having satisfaction so uh, both buyer and seller are getting satisfaction with the utilization of money seller is happy because he has earned maximum amount of profit while buyer is also happy that he feels that he has provided the least amount of money in order to buy that particular product so he is also happy so ultimately satisfaction uh, money leads to satisfaction of buyers and sellers in econo in carrying out the economic transactions next is the base of credit as you know that after demonetization the world has become more and towards the credit economy itself but the basis of credit economy is also the money itself because uh, without help of money credit economy cannot work out okay take the best example if i yeah, if i am having the credit card of any particular bank so in that case i have to if i'm making any kind of transaction if i'm purchasing any goods or services so uh, for example 5000 rupees uh, of goods and services i have purchased then i have to repay that amount after maybe 40 to 50 days depending upon according to bank's terms and conditions okay so after even 40 or 50 days i have to make the payment of that credit which bank has provided me in cash itself also okay uh, so expansion of credit uh, contraction of credit that is also a matter of money itself if the money is increased then credit can be increased if money supply is decreased credit supply is decreased also next point is the liquidity function so as we as we all know that money is having cent percent that is the 100% percent liquidity uh, liquid asset okay so money is 100% percent liquid asset which indicates that any person at any point of time uh, can utilize the money let's say for example if i have 1000 rupees with me so 24 into 7 i can utilize that 1000 rupees across the length and breadth of our country you could say so that indicates that money is 100% liquid money is 100% acceptable to each and every citizen thank you so much for watching this wonderful video if you like this uh, video please subscribe to this channel for more upcoming updates thank you so much